The long-awaited return of Marvel Studios is finally with us. And it's one of the most bizarre, unique, and unexpected returns to form that I've ever seen. So without spoilers, let's talk about the first two episodes of WandaVision. So for those wondering if there will be a spoiler-filled review and discussions and theories and all that, yes, we will have that coming out really soon. This is just for those people that maybe have not seen it and just want some general thoughts and my uh, take on WandaVision, and specifically the first two episodes here. Again, I'm not going into any spoilers in this. I'm not even going to pretend to try to tease something. I'm just going to be very clear-cut with you on what I think of it from the most basic approach without spoiling anything or even teasing any bigger implications so with that in mind um right off the bat like two minutes into the series there's this sense of uneasiness that i think comes with it at least it did for me and my wife because you know if you've seen the mcu so far everything that's transpired we know that vision is dead we know that this world that they're in is not all that it seems to be and they get the sense of that we see it and we see how the pieces start to unfold and the reality sort of starts to peek through and you see the uh like emotion that starts to uh transpire and be transposed onto the characters and on the screen and on us at the same time as people care about these characters throughout the first episode specifically but that does carry over into the second one and as that keeps going you get the sense of this world building out a little corner of the mcu that's a little niche and unlike anything we've seen before that will will further have huge implications on what comes down the road. Now, of course, all of this would be pointless if the cast wasn't solid, and the cast is solid. Everybody we see in these episodes is top-notch. They're doing their best. They convey that the world they're setting is real to them. And that's what's important here, specifically when you see the scenes in the 50s, for example, where you know it is a sitcom set. And we know what it is. We know that this is not the ideal world. This isn't like a 50s or 60s show where they know they're on a TV show and they have to play up to the crowd. There is this sense of dread and mystery behind them being on these sets. And again, that further is pushed through to the max by the stellar acting capabilities of the lead. The plot slowly starts to fall into place and you start to get the little sense of uh, the direction that the overall first season is going to play up and sort of the mystery behind it and what some of the bigger revelations will be and of course there's plenty of easter eggs and callbacks if you're a hardcore mcu fan that you will notice and start to formulate your own theories and ideas of what exactly could be happening and how does this exactly resolve itself and again, without going into too much, this is a quick spoiler-free review. I do want to say, when I talk more about this in the spoiler one, when me and Mitch and Tristan get to discuss it, we're really going to go into some of the other elements that this show really tries to uh, deliver on. And I say specifically in my take on it, nails to absolute perfection. This is not the MCU formula you're used to. This might actually be one of the furthest departures from the MCU that we could have ever expected. And I think this show coming out to kick off Phase 4 is honestly one of the biggest blessings that they could have gotten from everything that happened last year. Because it really sets an unknown path for the future of this franchise. And seeing how varied the future is, these two episodes play a huge role into the mystery that will be uncovered in Phase 4. Overall, highly recommended in case you couldn't tell. Go watch it.